And we learned today that the New South Wales government spent $1 billion getting the protective equipment for our uh, uh, medical industry. And despite the fact that they were going to try to spend it here in Australia, instead, guess where it went? You best, China. Here's the Premier. <laughs> The supply of medical equipment isn't what it used to be. New South Wales relied on many different sources of equipment, including many sources from overseas, which no longer exist or have been massively disrupted. And so today, I'm calling on the great people of our state, the, those great business people, those manufacturers who are able to retool, to consider retooling, to help supply those additional things we'll need in coming months. That's what she said on April the 1st, Richo, but of course, they didn't care. They needed it, so they bought it, and they bought it from China. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not going to jump up and down about it. If it was the only game in town, it's the one you play, isn't it? Well, if you've turned around and said you want, in, in, on April the 1st, industries to turn around, the ability of the manufacturing industries, and they worked pretty hard to be able to turn around, but there's no evidence that the New South Wales government did anything other than that press conference to try to find a different source, to try to turn manufacturing in Australia into something that could, uh, that could happen, Richard. Mate, Australian manufacturing is really struggling. It has been for decades. And it, I think turning it round quickly, given that it hasn't worked in the last two or three decades, was hardly going to work in the space of a month or two. I mean, it, it's, it's, a, it's a bigger job than that to turn uh, the, the, the big ship around. And so we're, I think um, I'm, I'm not going to criticise her on this one. Um, uh, I, uh, I often do, and she complains about it, so... Um, when I don't think she's done the wrong thing, I should say that. But, Rowan, what is the evidence that the New South Wales government in now, as things start to ease down in Australia, they are doing anything to make sure that the manufacturing uh, exists and is supported in New South Wales? Instead, one of the first things they shove through the parliament is more green schemes, more renewable energy, which, as we know, not a magnificent, reliable source of energy if you want to have a manufacturing sector in New South Wales. Yeah, uh, the Berejiklian government is increasingly disappointing. I hate to say it. Uh, the whole farce we saw over the weekend, uh, allowing the uh, demonstrations to go ahead, uh, buying all this gear from China, uh, when we know uh, that most of the ICUs and the hospital beds are sitting empty, uh, we've got piles and piles of, uh, of uh, PPE equipment sitting around untouched. The doctors are tripping over ventilator masks and... and so on. So why we have to rush out and buy a billion or whatever it is, however many dollars worth of Chinese gear, which we've also seen, by the way, from around the world, is often faulty. Um, and uh, many countries have said they've thrown up their hands and gone, well, we bought all this stuff and it turned out to be crap and we'd have to send it back. So I don't understand what the Berejiklian government is playing at here. Uh, I disagree with Richard. If you want to build up your manufacturing, sure, to build up car manufacturing or something or other is going to take a couple of decades or whatever. But what, to build up people who can make masks? Oh, come on, it can't be that hard to build up. Uh, we should have the ability in this country to make basic, uh, you know, or sophisticated uh, medical equipment and, of course, medicines.